guys, welcome back. Today we are doing question number one of the MDTP Mathematical Analysis Readiness Test. And this question says, one of the factors of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is which of the following? So the first thing we're going to have to do for this question is we are going to go ahead and just have to factor. So in order to factor this, what we're going to have to do is figure out which factors of this number, when added together, equal this number here, this middle number. So let's start out by figuring out the factors of 10. So we have 1 and 10, we have 2 and 5, and then we have um, 5 and 2 and 10 and 1, but I'm just going to write these once. I'm not going to write the opposites. So the other thing we have to keep in mind is that there's a negative here. So that means that this could be negative or this could be negative, and same here. Either the 2 can be negative or the 5 can be negative. So we have to also think about the fact that we need a difference in these of 3, right? So we need the difference between those two numbers in some form to be 3. So the difference between 1 and 10 is 9. However, the difference between 2 and 5 is 3. So we know that it's going to be this pair here. So now we just have to figure out which one is going to be positive and which one is going to be negative. So if we have, let's just make um, 2 negative. So if we have a negative 2 and a positive 5, when we add those together, we are going to get this 3 here. Let's try the opposite just for, just for fun. So what if we had a positive 2 and a negative 5? When we add those two together, we're going to get a negative 3. And since this is positive, that doesn't work. So we can cross out this one and this one. And this here, these two choices are going to be our answer. So now all we have to do is put this into factored form. So how we're going to do that is we're going to draw our parentheses and write x minus 2. So you put your first number here, and then we're going to multiply that by x plus 5, since this here was positive. So now what that tells us is if you were to FOIL this out, if you remember FOIL um, stands for first, outside, inside, last, um, so if you foiled this out, you would get this. These are equivalent, this here and this here. You're just writing them in a different form. This form is multiplied out. This form is factored, right? Because this is a factor and that's a factor. So now we have to take a look at the answer choices and figure out which, which one matches one of our factors here. And immediately we see that we have x plus 5 as a factor right here. So that makes our answer choice letter A. All right, well, I hope that video was helpful. If it was, please remember to like and subscribe and props goes to anybody who is willing to leave me a comment below telling me what topic you're struggling with most. All right, well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.